everybody, welcome to a new episode of Food and a Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now, as a Christian, I was raised to eat fish on Good Friday. So on this very special Good Friday episode, this very special Easter episode of Food and a Single Guy, I am going to cook you some butter fish steamed in some coconut milk with some herbs and spices to die for. Okay, I'm gonna list all the ingredients for you in the information box below the video. So without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys, so this is my fish and I purchased these at the tropical supermarket in the frozen food section. And this is a small eye croaker, but in my country, in the Caribbean and in some parts of Asia, they call it butter fish. In Dutch, it's called boterfish. And in our native Creole language, it's called botrofisi or botroturturu. I'm going to put that on screen for you so you can see the spelling of it. All right. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow these to thaw and then I'm going to clean them and season them. And by the way, I'm also going to add the Latin name of this fish in the description box below so you can go ahead and read all about our botrofisi. Now, if you've been on my channel long enough, you know what's going on here because in my country, this is the way we clean our fish with some some lemons, with some limes, with some sour oranges, and sometimes even vinegar. And the reason we do that is because we want to get rid of that fishy, that very pungent smell. Okay, nobody wants to eat that. So I'm going to allow the fish to stay in this basin of water for about five minutes, and then I'm going to rinse them. And there we go. So next, we're going to season these bad boys. Okay, beautiful people. It is now time to season the fish. And we're going to season the fish with three very simple ingredients. Some black pepper, some salt, and some garlic powder. All right? All right, let's go. A little bit of salt. And finally, the garlic powder. There we go. So next, we're going to get our hands dirty. Yeah, baby. It's all about seasoning your food the right way. Make sure that your hands are clean, because nobody likes dirty hands. All right? All right. So that's it, you guys. So next, we are going to allow these babies to marinate for about a half an hour at the very least. But if you feel adventurous, you can go ahead and allow these to marinate overnight. They will taste the bomb the next day. Trust me. Okay, you guys. So these are the aromatics that we'll need for the sauce. Starting with two stalks of lemongrass, four cloves of finely chopped garlic, a nice chunk of sliced galangal root, a sliced green chili pepper and a sliced red chili pepper. And these onion rings come from a very large onion. All right? So let us continue. Now, I've allowed my fish to marinate overnight, but as I said earlier, anywhere between a half an hour to an hour will do just fine. So let's have a look, see. There they are, and it smells delicious in here, I can tell you that much. So next, I am going to brown these bad boys. We're going to add some color to the fish. We're going to fry them ever so gently in a droplet of oil, just to add some color to the skin. And then we're going to stew them in that coconut milk. Okay, you guys, so in a droplet of oil, we're going to brown the fish. And as you can see, I'm not using a hell of a lot of oil. We're not going to deep fry the fish. We're simply going to brown the fish. All right, so don't use a truckload of oil <laughs> just a little bit will do I am now going to turn on my cooker hood which makes a lot of noise so bear with me and as soon as the oil is hot we're going to brown the fish and I recommend using a non-stick pan for this so let's go we're gonna start with the big one Follow by the little ones. Now you guys, to the same pan, we are now going to add the aromatics, starting with the lemongrass, and the galangal root, and you want to glaze them for about a couple of seconds. Before 
before adding the garlic. Now as soon as the garlic takes on some color, you're going to add the onion rings and the chili peppers. And you're going to give it a nice stir. You know how we do. <laughs> so after about a minute, we're going to add the coconut milk. gonna give it a gentle stir guys when I tell you it smells delicious in here Wow so we're also gonna add a droplet of water just like so so of course we're gonna give it a gentle stir yet again and next we're gonna allow the sauce to simmer on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes with an occasional stir now you guys, we're going to check on the sauce in a minute, but I'm going to serve this dish with some noodles. I went to the Chinese supermarket the other day and I saw this little baggie containing these very festive looking noodles. They're called Taiwan noodles and I am now going to cook them. And the way you cook these, if you know how to cook regular pasta, you will know how to cook these noodles. There's nothing to it. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to check on my sauce. Oh yes, this is looking good. It is smelling good. So now I'm going to season the sauce with some salt. And season to your liking by the way. Because everybody's taste buds are different. I think that will do just fine. And by the way, this is not necessarily a Surinamese recipe. This is just one of my own little creations. Now, next we're going to add the fish to the sauce very gently because we don't want them to break. Like I said, this is a very delicate fish. And now we're going to coat the fish with some of that sauce. There we go, nice and easy. So next I'm gonna cover the pan and allow the fish to simmer on low heat for about five minutes. So while that is going on, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the noodles. And speaking of noodles, this is what they look like. Aren't these the cutest little noodles you've ever seen in your life? I've never used these before myself and I did some research online. Apparently they dry them in the sun, they dry the pasta in the sun and that is why they curl up on the sides like this. Very different, yeah, like me. All right, now before we move on to the final presentation, if you celebrate Easter, allow me to wish you and yours a happy Easter. And there you have it, the final presentation of this dish. And doesn't that look beautiful, you guys? I think it does. And when I tell you that it smells delicious, it tastes great, you have got to believe me. I am so proud of myself. Now, if you decide to try to make this yourself, let me know how it turned out because I'm always genuinely interested in hearing from you. I love the interaction. Don't hesitate to post a comment or two. Be nice. Nice, be kind because I do get a lot of crazy comments on my videos. It's not necessary to be nasty to anybody online. Don't do it. All right. Karma is a B-I-T-C-H in that order. Now, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, happy cooking. Happy eating. Happy butterfish eating. Happy Easter. Don't add crazy to the craziness. And until we meet again, have a good one, you guys. Bye.